This so-called American President's Collection embodies a shared devotion to freedom, equality, and democracy between France and the United States, and a bond of friendship that has endured for nearly 250 years. The Marquis de Lafayette brought cognac with him when he crossed the Atlantic to assist George Washington in America's fight for independence. The 1789 cognac featuring in the collection was born a violent revolution. The friendly relations continued throughout the 18th century. As ambassador, future president Thomas Jefferson witnessed the onset of the French Revolution and developed an appreciation for its people's love of Republican principles that would serve him well in the White House. As president in 1803, Jefferson cut a sweet deal with Napoleon, setting America's manifest destiny in motion and restoring the transatlantic friendship marred by the Quasi-War of 1798 and 1800. The Louisiana Purchase doubled U.S. territory at the bargain price of $15 million, less than four cents per acre. The Americanization of New Orleans transformed the Big Easy from cognac and Armagnac sophistication to a beer and bourbon frontier town. But the connection between American presidents and French spirits lived on. United States and French history converged again in the late 1800s as both met the task of rebuilding their nations following upheavals that threatened individual liberty. America finally freed its slaves and emerged from a catastrophic civil war. The French worked to recover from defeat at the hands of Prussia and establish its fledgling Third Republic. Seeking to symbolize Franco-American cooperation and struggles for freedom, French citizens presented the American people with the Statue of Liberty, commemorating 100 years of independence. President Grover Cleveland dedicated the copper statue in New York Harbor in 1886. Cognac played a role in important strategies and tactics that helped the United States, France, and their allies win World War II. Scion of the famous Cognac family, Jean Monnet, served as an advisor to President Franklin Roosevelt. Before the U.S. entered the war, Monet helped convince Roosevelt to make America the great arsenal of democracy. The resulting Lend-Lease program stimulated the U.S. economy and produced critical war material for the British and French fight against Nazi Germany. It's been reported that General and future President Dwight Eisenhower sipped cognac with British Prime Minister Winston Churchill as they planned the D-Day invasion that would liberate France. Tasting the vintage spirits is a palate-altering experience. The centuries-old cognacs and armagnacs can retain their youthful virility, and even though they were distilled during the days of the French Revolution, can be vibrantly alive. History buff and old liquor's owner, Bay Vanderbunt, has spent the last 45 years expanding his family's collection of rare and historically significant bottles of distilled spirits.